slowly because I said, I'm cool with Puffy and Biggie doing the interview with you. Tupac took it as if I wasn't down with him no more, as if I was side busted, as if I was scared. Death Row looked at me as like a traitor the next day. I actually had to fly back home from New York. And normally on a private plane, it'd be Pac, his security, me, my security, Suge, and a couple of his homies. This time I go to the airport, my security walking with me. Suge like, hold up, they can't roll. They gotta catch a regular flight. So now I'm like, that's not a good sign. Okay. First of all, Pac ain't said to me though, from that moment on. But everybody else has security. Yeah. I seen it happen. I know how to get down. I so, was just going to say, I, oh, that's I know, what my mind was wondering. I know how to get down. Yeah. I'm not a stranger to danger. I know what it is. Mm -hmm. So now I get on the plane. So now I'm looking around. Pac right here, a couple other right here. I'm like, what's up, Pac? And they do me like this. So I walk to the back of the plane, give me a blanket, grab me a knife and a fork, put the blanket over my, over my nose right here, my, uh, my little black glasses on, and ride like this the whole flight, hoping one of them come with me so I could stab out everybody on this mother. This is a five and a half hour flight. Don't nobody say one word to me. Not one word. It's having conversations and doing all kinds of things, saying nothing to me. Now we land. My Rolls Royce, Tupac Rolls Royce, Suge Rolls Royce. We step off the plane. I'm like, Pac, you going to Vegas to the fight? I said, That's the last time I seen my life. 